Hello, welcome back to the video lecture series for introduction to the other programming using Scala. We continue looking at graphics, and in particular we're moving on to another setting of Graphics 2D. We're going to look at the font. So one of the calls that we can make on a Graphics 2D is called Draw String. And so we can demonstrate using this. We'll come up into here into the code that we've been building to draw our panel. And, well first I'm actually going to do change the paint, I'm just going to turn it to a boring black color because it will show up well with the font. And then I want to call draw string. Now we can look inside of the API at uh, the draw string method. You pass it a string and either two floats or two ints. And the so the string I want to draw to draw there is um, we'll go with a very simple standard string and just to illustrate something I'm going to draw this at zero zero and then the question will be where does this pop up now you know that zero zero is this top corner and you probably notice immediately it doesn't say hello world anywhere actually it did draw but the zero zero location is imagine that you are writing on lined paper you know, if you take yourself back to kindergarten or first grade when you had the triple lined paper and every letter had to go from you know, the bottom line either to the middle line or the top line depending upon what letter it was well the zero zero the y value that you specify is the lower line so hello world is being written right up here just outside of where we can see it. If we want to be able to see it, we need to lower it down a bit. And we can do that by, say, putting it down at 50. And now you can see it. So the this corner right here is x equals 0, y equals 50. This has been dropped down 50 pixels. It's halfway to the top of our rectangle. And it prints out Hello World. Well, what if I wanted this to pop to, to come up in a larger font or maybe some other font? Well, uh, for that I have to change the font setting. And so we can call set font before we draw our string. And I have to pass this a new font object. Well, how do I make a new font object? Well, it's clearly going to be new font, and there's going to be something inside of here, but what is that something? So we go to our API, and in java.awt there is a class called font, and you can read all of the uh, description of this. But when we create it, the way in which we're going to create this is we create it, we give a name, which is a string for the font that we want to use, a style, which could be things like plain or bold or italic, and a size for the the font size um, generally measured in points. So let's say I wanted to make this font bigger. Uh, what could I use for name? Well it turns out you can use any name for a font that's installed on the system. Uh, there are also methods for getting hold of the uh, the list of fonts that are available on on a system, uh, but that kind of goes beyond what we want to do. Plus, if you move your program from one system to another, some of the fonts that you are using on one system might not be available on, on another system. And so Java guarantees you that there are a few fonts that are always available. The serif font, the, the sans serif font, uh, and um, the a dialog font in there uh, and a monospaced font and this also uses gives us now the roman baseline is an int so the ones that are strings serif sans serif monospace and dialog uh, are some fonts that you can use and you'll be guaranteed that they are available on every single system so i want to actually write my hello world in monospaced font because that will look a little bit different. Uh, how about I make my monospace font bold? 
and then I want to make it a, not a 200 point font, a 20 point font. Uh, not found value font. Indeed, we need to import it or add it to our growing list of imports here. from AWT, and there you go. We get Hello World, and it is drawn out in a large monospaced font, and we can still change the color of our rectangle. So fonts are fairly simple at this level. There are a lot of other details that you can go into. So for example, if you want to be able to center a string left to right, well then you have to know how big uh, it's going to be when you draw it, and there are uh, there are methods that give you things like line metrics for for drawing things and there are I generally use the get uh, string bounds if I'm going to do this but you have to provide something called a font render context and so this involves a lot of details that I'm not going to go into and that the the book doesn't really uh, go into you can find out how big a string is going to be drawn so that you can position it appropriately uh, but that's kind of beyond the scope of what we're going to, to do here. So that's pretty much what I'm interested in you being able to do with, with uh, drawing strings to your graphics and doing uh, fonts. And in the uh, next video, we'll look at how we can adjust a clip.